Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to manually add uh, a boot entry into your EFI firmware. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Uh, first I, I want to put uh, an entry into my boot, into, into my EFI, that will lead to uh, a EFI shell. So I'm going to copy this binary here, right here, have shell.efi right here. So I'm going to copy it into my EFI system partition. Okay, it's a custom system partition. I will list my 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 partitions right here. So I have two disks. So one is in hard drive, and another one's a solid state drive. So okay, I have this uh 100 megabytes for windows i have uh 400 megabytes uh so here's my custom efi system partition uh okay so what's going to what actually happens when you do it uh you won't show up automatically into into your firmware so well uh, let, let's just let's copy it uh, enough talking. Uh, shell that EFI slash boot slash EFI slash tools. Oh, yeah. Please. <laughs> right? Oh, man. Hopefully, I don't I don't have uh, a cell installed. Um, okay, so we do not verify it slash EFI slash tools. Yeah, so we have our executable right here. Uh, so, well, let's reboot the system. All right. Moment. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on again. And what I want is, for, for example, if I... If something happens with my bootloader, I want it to take me to to the EFI shell. So I'm going to boot into firmware right here. Yeah, right here. So uh, this is the default uh, configuration interface. Okay, depending on your vendor, it will be different. I I really don't think Dell or or Acer or any other brand will have the same uh, configuration interface as Samsung. But okay, right here at boot, um, boot device priority. Yeah, so here what we can see, we have uh, three options. We have the refined boot manager, which, which I already have in with, uh, as a preferred option. Windows Boot Manager and UFI OS, but well, what I wanted, I wanted to. Okay, uh, for example, uh, I don't find my refine executable. I wanted to drop back into the UFI shell, which I just copied to to the tools directory. So okay, I'm um, just exiting. Exiting. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. Don't care much about refine because it sort of does um, much of the things automatically. But what I have here is uh, a bootable USB stick with Arc Linux ISO, which has okay uh, another EFI shell. Uh, please don't don't get too confused because uh, the the shell I've put I've copied into the tools directory. Is what is the entry I want to have but this shell here is uh, only on the on my USB stick I don't know what just happened to my phone it just stopped recording so let's uh, let's turn it on again okay so let's boot into the the my to the USB stick so I don't know what happened with version 1 it does it just does it work but version two works, so let's let's enter. Okay. All right. 
Oh, as you can see, uh, it is a shell, right? Uh, a moment, okay. Um, it has some basic utilities. So you can go through help here, you can notice everything. Okay, I'm sorry for all those cuttings, I just noticed that I was storing the recordings into my 16GB SD card, so it was running out of space and my camera was just um, was just stopping the recording every time, so sorry for that. So, uh, we're back into the shell, right? And, okay, we use this, uh, just let's do it again. Uh, we, we throw help here. It will list every every command that is available for us. So the main commands we're going to use will be ls map and boot config here boot bcfg. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do we need to throw, use map here. It will show all portations that are suitable for for storing uh, an EFI executable. It's important to notice that it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't mean that it actually contains a UEFI executable. It just says okay, it's formatted, uh, it's suitable. Uh, for example, for instance, here I have uh, some uh, FAT thirty two partitions. So okay, uh, it scans the, the disks and says oh, this, this partition here is suitable. So we have this USB file system here that probably is my my pen drive. Just, so just let's uh, uh, so here uh, file system zero. Slash OK. All right. So here it says, oh, I have some directories, um, the EFI folder, the EFI directory, some some things here. So okay, it's reasonable to say that. Okay, I, I made those those custom partitions. I know what is inside any of those. So when I'm go when I'm going looking for them, I can tell. Okay, so here's the partition I want. So just let's do it again with uh, FS one, for instance. FS system one. All right. I have many things, it seems like a locale. So here we see boot manager.efi. It smells like Windows boot manager partition, so I'm, I'm just not touching it. Okay, so let's go through fs2 forward slash. Okay, I just have uh, an efi directory. Just let's go here. Okay, no, so, so here, here's the Windows boot manager. Um, partition and uh, okay just let's go through FS3 all right so here's the partition I want if you remember back then I copied my my executable into uh, this partition slash if I slash tools right here we are we have this binary here so uh, we we want to link this binary to an entry, a boot entry. So what we're gonna do, we already know the path. It's fs3 um, colon uh, ef uh, colon slash efi slash tools slash shell dot efi. Okay. Uh, so the other command we want to do, we want to we want to use is bcfg boot so here it says boot configuration uh, boot options there is another command that is b, b, b configuration uh, drivers um, but we're just not using it so we have boot configuration boot dump so here it will list all the entries that are currently in our in our EFI firmware in our EFI and VRAM, our memory. So yeah, so here, uh, just recalling, we have we have this preferred uh, boot option, refined boot manager, Windows boot manager, UFI OS, uh, USB disk that it automatically identified upon connecting our USB stick. 
So we want to add another one. So just let go. Uh, so the command here is uh, boot configuration boot add uh, one or two or three or four. It depends. We want to add another one, so just let's add uh, a sixth entry. And okay, we need to we need this add. We need the path. So remember the path is fs3 colon no, colon uh, slash. So yeah, so here it already it has auto complete, which I love. So slash efi slash refine tools slash shell so here it's the executable we want to link into the entry and we also need uh, the alias oh what's going on okay my, my keyboard is in Portuguese but uh, <laughs> the shell is in uh, English United States or English International, I don't know, I think uh, it's international because of those those special characters, but anyway. So just let's make the alias like uh, shell, like AFI shell. Shell is good because it's like uh, shell hell. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. It added. All oh, awesome. So here you go through a dump. <gasps> Oh my god, it's here! Refine Boot Manager, Windows Super Manager, EFI OS, EFI Shell. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Alright. So... Alright, I think that's it. Just let reboot then. Um, okay. It's off, let's remove the USB stick. Let's turn it on again. Awesome. Uh, later, we could also um, add a refine entry for uh, the UFI shell, which is very, um, very useful because we don't need to go through to the firmware to change the boot order order again and turn back on the computer, unless it's like all broken because Arc Linux broke it everything. Okay, so boot device priority. <gasps> EFI shell, oh my god, it's here! So just let's make some tests. Just let's go through EFI shell, uh, refine boot manager. Okay, just for a test. Oh, let me think. Okay, okay, we can. Let's make a game. Let's make a. Let's make some fun with it because I already have a shell, so let's change the boot. Oh, oh my god, it started the shell. It's awesome no seriously it's awesome so here uh the it's working we can see it's working because the usb stick is here so the, U, the shell which law la it launched it is the one stored in the partition in that tools directory which i find find amazing so all right so uh we we want to manually change the the boot the boot options okay so just let go through that utility again. So it's boot configuration, boot dump. Okay, so here we are. We can see. We can, as we can see. So just let's use the command uh, the configuration, uh, boot move. We can move one to another. So let's move uh, e three, the third one, to the zero one. All right. So let's dump it again. Yes. So here we are. So we have the the first option. Find a boot manager back in the top as a preferred boot option. EFI shell, then Windows Boot Manager, then UFI OS, then we can make those, we can make it manually without a, a graphical user interface. So yeah, it's awesome, I think that's it, we're happy again, okay, 
flood the boot again into my refined boot manager. Right, so thank you for watching. Uh, please like, please comment, say okay, I didn't understand, I didn't understand, uh, I didn't understand the shit of what you said. Your English is crappy, just leave it in the comments. Okay, I, I, I actually don't think that. But if you do, okay, just leave it in the comments. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you so much. All right, see ya, see you next time. Uh, please message me if you want some videos, some more videos like that. Okay, see ya.